Jermaine Dupree and any other that got to say about Kamala Harris running for president. I already put this on Twitter, but sometimes tone is misinterpreted with the written word, so I thought I'd say it. Now, Jermaine Dupri posted this rambling nonsense on social media yesterday, and I'm not really sure what this man who cheated on Janet Jackson is asking, but I think the answer is you don't understand how the system works, Jermaine. There are a lot of things people think presidents can do without congressional approval, but people are wrong. Congress has a lot of power. Now, Jermaine, I know you are a successful businessman and CEO, but our government is not a business. It runs on a constitution. And to make laws or spend federal money in this country, you have to follow a set of rules that are enforced by Robert's rules. And people who belong to D9 organizations or basically any organization that has constitution and bylaws, they are very familiar with Robert's rules. But people who own record labels and ice cream companies are not. Additionally, our government is basically run on the honor system. Everybody is supposed to respect and follow and enforce the rules. Republicans do not do this. They exploit the rules so that they can cheat and get rule changes in their favor. They create problems to look like they are the only ones that can solve problems. And if the GOP gets power back this November, they are going to change the rules of how our government works so that they can remain in power permanently. That is why Trump packed the federal courts during his term. That is why he packed the Supreme Court so that they could cheat legally. And there is no boss or CEO that can stop them. Now we, and when I say we, I mean women, I mean indigenous people, I mean black people, I mean Latinos, I mean Asians, I mean the LGBTQIA community, immigrants, we weren't supposed to be included in this government the way our constitution was originally written. That's why they had to write amendments. And everybody is supposed to respect and follow the amendments. And the amendments are what give all those marginalized groups rights. So how do you discriminate against people that the amendments protect? You make new laws that defy the amendments. Who is going to make you stop making new laws? The people you discriminate against? They are poor and they cannot afford to take you to court. And court is the only way we can have laws changed in this country. And even if we did take these fools to court, the federal appeals courts have been packed with MAGA judges by Trump. So is the Supreme Court. So even if you are logically and morally wrong for changing the laws, you will be upheld as legally right in this country with the current uh, government that we have. Trump and the GOP are trying to legally make a slave class in this country, period, point blank. They want to change the laws so that they can oppress us legally and there is nothing we can do about it for generations because the Supreme Court they have now will uphold these laws. They want minorities and women in America to be suckers and slaves in order to make Trump and whomever he and his cronies deem worthy more wealthy. Now, Project 2025 is a real life guide to becoming Gilead from The Handmaid's Tale. And this is not an exaggeration. If you have not looked up what Project 2025 plans to do to anybody who is not a white, heteronormative, Christo-fascist male in this country, you better get your ass on Google and read. For those of you who fell asleep in civics class all the time, two thirds of Congress can override anything a president wants to do. With the number of MAGA Republicans in Congress, there will never be an override if they get back in power. Y'all only show up every four years to vote for the president and you refuse to show up every two years in the midterms to give the president the Congress they need to pass legislation they had on their platform or to stop bad presidents from implementing harmful legislation. Since Bill Clinton's second term, we have had hyper-partisan nonsense going on in our Congress. And there are a lot of reasons why that was going on, but it was mostly because Bill Clinton started fixing the mess of Reaganomics. When Bill Clinton was in office, America was in a surplus. Every time we put Republicans in power in our government, we are at a financial deficit and they look to all the poor people to make up the deficit. That's why inflation and our taxes and cost so much while these companies are making record profits. 
okay? And too many minorities were benefiting during the 90s. That's why they had it out for Bill Clinton's and that's why they tried to impeach him over that nonsense that happened with him and Monica Lewinsky. It is not a coincidence that one of the architects of getting Clinton impeached back then is our present sitting uh, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Since 1973, they have been trying to get women back under control because that is when women started receiving the legal right to do things on their own, to have a bank account on your own, to have a credit card on your own, to purchase a home on your own. We could not do that before 1973. And then lots of the provisions in the Civil Rights Act that allowed minorities to vote have expired and they do not want to renew them. That is why they had to present the John Lewis Voting Act because the original Voting Act has expired. These people do not want women or minorities to have rights in this country. They want the government they originally had with white land owning men and they want to do it legally. And if you don't believe me, ask yourself why Rick Santorum's crazy has been trying to force a constitutional convention in this country since damn near Obama's first term because they do not want black people, brown people, Asian people, indigenous people, LGBTQIA people. They do not want us in power in this country, y'all. If we elect Kamala Harris as president, she can't do nothing if we don't give her the House and the Senate she needs to get it done. That's why we say vote down the ballot, vote for all the Democrats, and fire the GOP. She needs it in 2024. She needs it in 2026. She's going to need it in 2028. She's going to need it in 2030. You have to keep coming back and voting in the midterms, okay? But if Trump gets in there, he has enough cult members in Congress to get the rules changed and our rights are done. We will be living in Russia Jr. for the next few generations. Not the next few years, the next few generations. I need y'all to remember that Jim Crow laws had to be overturned by the Supreme Court. These motherfuckers did not just start acting right because they had some kind of epiphany about bigotry. The laws changed and then they enforced the laws. That is why they're trying to change them back. Y'all really got to start focusing on the right things, bruh. So all you impressionable people out there who listen to celebrities just because they have money or listen to Jermaine Dupree just because he's famous and made some good bops, do not let a who cheated on Janet Jackson influence you to make a bad decision for your life too. We can actually crush the Republican Party this year because they are broke as a joke, okay? We can crush them and keep working to shape our government the way we want it to look if we participate. This is a slow process, y'all, but you have to participate every year and not just pop out every four years talking and being a contrarian. In summation, please learn how the system works and participate in your government every election. These people are our employees, y'all. It is up to us to hire and fire the people who make the laws that run our lives. And that is what voting is. The hiring process is a zero-sum group project. If you don't show up, the other team is winning. If you vote for a third party that cannot win, the other team is still gaining votes and winning. The only way for you to win is to vote against the who are trying to hurt you. If you do not vote against the incompetent candidate, which is basically the majority of the GOP, America is and so is your freedom. Real talk. So all of this nonsense y'all going on and on about, you need to stop it. You need to learn how our system works and you need to vote ho and fire the entire GOP. Hi Barbie. 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 Uh.